Hello, welcome to my channel. I thought I would start a series called Poetry Mondays and read you a couple poems from an author every Monday. I read poetry quite frequently and there are a lot of really beautiful poets, but I know that sometimes you might not want to go out and buy a short like 50 page book or rent it even. <laughs> Well, you don't know if you'll like it. So I thought this would be a lovely way to give you samplings. And recently, the book I've been reading is Sonnets from the Portuguese by Elizabeth Barrett Browning. She is not very modest in one of her letters to her publisher and compares herself to Shakespeare and see, say, says that these are only second to him. I think that she could use a little bit of more modesty. But I did love... A couple of these poems a lot and I really wanted to share them with you. So the first one it's sonnet number 14. If thou lovest me let it be for naught except for love's sake only. Do not say I love her for her smile, her look, her way of speaking gently, for a trick of thought that falls in well with mine. And certes brought a sense of pleasant ease on such a day. For these things in themselves, beloved, may be changed or else for thee, and love so wrought may be unwrought so. Neither love me for thine own dear pities wiping my cheeks dry. A creature might forget to weep who bore thy comfort long and lose thy love thereby. But love me for love's sake that evermore thou mayst loved on through love's eternity. And there's that accompanying picture. I thought that was so beautiful on just unconditional love and loving the whole person as just one beautiful entity and not focusing on like the small details. I love you for this, I love you for that because small details can shift a person's physical appearance their smile changes through the years it changes based on circumstance if they're having a bad month if they're suffering through depression do you still love that person and this poem really beautifully captures how loving a person means loving all of them and accepting their seasons accepting their overall flow and of course people can become very different and that doesn't mean it's wrong to split but loving them still you know loving them for everything that they are that little soul kernel that is unique and beautiful so the second one poem i wanted to read is number 24 let the world's sharpness like a clasping knife shed it upon itself and do no harm in this close hand of love no soft and warm and let us hear no sound of human strife after the click of the shutting life to life i lean upon thee dear without alarm and feel as safe as guarded by a charm against the stab of worldlings who if rife are weak weak to injure very whitely still the lilies of our lives may reassure their blossoms from their roots, accessible only alone to heavenly dews that drop not fewer. Growing straight out of man's reach on the hill, God only who made us rich can make us poor. I found this such a spiritual poem about just surrendering to a relationship and that being kind of its own little world its own kind of agreement of understanding and openness and acceptance i feel as safe as guarded by a charm i think that deep down inside that's really every person's desire to feel that seen, to feel that guarded, to feel that accepted. And kind of, it's also kind of like a plea, I guess, 
or just speaking out to God and the universe and asking them to guard this relationship, guard their little piece of heaven they've created in their hearts together. So yeah, those are my two favorite poems. Most of them are really, really good. So I would definitely recommend this book. And sometimes you can find it for like a dollar at a used bookstore. So stay on the lookout for it and tell me what you think. What are your favorite poets? Who should I read next? And I'll see you in the next Poetry Monday video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, click like, leave a comment. This way more people will be exposed to this beautiful poetry and we can just enjoy literature together. Until next time, bye.